to this yoga session uh, for the Stay Home, Stay Fit YouTube series. Uh, my name's Catherine and today we're going to work through a flow um, with some twists and a couple of balances. Um, if you do enjoy this video and want to see more like it, I do have my own YouTube channel um, and the link for that can be found in the description. So I hope you enjoy. We're going to begin today's class in child's pose. So in your own time, if you want to make your way down to your mat, toes can be touching, the knees can be wide. Allow your upper body to sink down into the mat. The arms are outstretched and active ahead of you. Start to become aware of your breath here. Inhaling and exhaling through the nostrils. Noticing the rise and fall of the chest with the breath. Try to bring your focus to the present moment. Allowing thoughts that may come to pass. Trying not to engage with them. And on the inhale, the gaze can come forward to the hands. I'm going to start walking the hands over to the left hand side. Once you're there, sinking down again into your child's pose, the forehead rested on the mat. Breathing here, feeling a gentle stretch down the right hand side of the body. On the exhale, to walk the hands back to the centre of the mat and over to the right hand side this time, again sinking down with the upper body, feeling a stretch down the left hand side of the body. Inhale here, before on the exhale walking your hands back to centre and coming up to a seated position, keeping the legs wide. Inhale here and lift the arms up above the head, taking a clasp, enjoying a gentle back bend, the gaze is high. On the exhale, release the hands and take a clasp this time behind the back, opening through the chest, inhale here. And on the exhale, fold forward, allowing the forehead to rest on the mat, bring the arms up ahead of you allowing them to come down as far as is possible. On the exhale, release the hands and bring them once again to the top of the mat, outstretched, returning to your child's pose. On the next breath, walk the hands in slightly and come up into your tabletop position. The knees are underneath the hips, the hands underneath the shoulders, the back is flat. On the exhale, from the hips, we're going to drop the belly. Send the shoulders back. The gaze is high. On the exhale, we're going to arch the back. Tuck the chin and push down through the hands. On the inhale, the belly drops. The chest is open. The gaze is high. On the exhale, arching the spine. The chin is tucked, pushing down through the hands. Work through a few rounds of this, following the breath at your own pace. Allowing the spine to stretch and move about. On your next exhale, return to a neutral tabletop position. On the inhale, lifting the left arm and the right leg outstretched, reaching. 
exhale here on the inhale lift that leg and that hand high above you the gaze follows on the exhale crunching down bring the left elbow to the right knee the inhale coming high on the exhale crunching down going to move through again a couple of rounds following your breath noticing how the spine is arching and bending as in the cat cow pose when you've completed a couple of rounds of this you can come back to your neutral tabletop position this time on the inhale lifting the right arm and the left leg stretching here exhaling before on the inhale rising the arm and the foot as much as possible on the exhale crunching down arching the spine a knee comes to elbow on the inhale lifting high on the exhale crunching under working through a few rounds of this again allowing the movement to be guided by the breath on the inhale rising high on the exhale crunching under and noticing how the spine is moving on your next exhale come back to a neutral position we're going to take a big step forward with the hands and allow the chest and upper body to sink down to the mat coming into your puppy pose keeping the tailbone high the knees are in line with the hips breathing here enjoying the arch in the back the arms are fully outstretched one more deep inhale on the exhale coming back up onto the hands we're going to tuck the toes and come into our first downward facing dog allowing the spine to arch fully the tailbone shoots high here if you want to pedal out the feet you can do so bringing movement and flexibility into the legs you want to start bringing the knee underneath the body twisting from side to side you can do so now before coming to be still in your downward facing dog for a breath and on the exhale we're going to lift the right hand and bring it all the way down to the left ankle doing a gentle spine twist here on the inhale bring the right hand back high this time lifting the left hand and bringing it to the right ankle pausing here twisting before returning the left hand sinking down once again into your downward facing dog sending the weight down through the heels of the feet tucking the chin on the inhale we're going to lift the right leg coming into our three-legged dog on the exhale sweeping the right knee to meet the left elbow on the inhale sending the leg high on the exhale bring the knee to the right elbow on the inhale sending the foot high on the exhale bring the knee to the nose crunching bringing foot high once again before on the exhale returning the right foot to the mat sinking down into your downward facing dog on the next inhale lifting the left leg this time high above you on the exhale bring the left knee to the right elbow on the inhale bring the leg high on the exhale bring it to the left elbow inhale send the leg high on the exhale bring the knee to the nose inhale once more here lifting the leg high before on the exhale returning the left foot to the mat coming back to your downward facing dog pausing here 
before bending the knees and slowly walking the feet to the top of the mat. Coming into a forward fold, rug doll pose here, the feet are wide. You can take the elbows in the hands and sway gently from side to side. Noticing the stretch down the back of the legs, allowing the upper body to be soft here. Breathing deeply, allowing gravity to do the work before on the inhale, very slowly unravelling and coming up to a standing position. Take a moment to step from side to side here. On the inhale, sweep the arms up above the head and reach here, the gaze is high. On the exhale, let the hands drop and exhale loudly through the mouth. Inhale, reach the arms high once again. On the exhale, breathe out through the mouth, let the hands drop. On the inhale, rise the hands up above the head. On the exhale, let them sway down, exhaling loudly through the mouth. Bring your hands to your hips here. We're going to try and come up onto our tiptoes and remain balanced here, sweeping the arms up above the head, focusing on a point ahead of you to help with your balance here. Breathing through the pose before on the exhale, dropping the heels, dropping the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms above the head, the gaze is high. On the exhale, we're going to right, let the right hand drop to our side, the left arm sweeping over the head, reaching here, feeling a stretch down the left hand side of the body before dropping the hands. Again, inhale, bring both arms up above you, this time letting the left arm drop to our side, the right arm sweeping over the head, feeling a stretch down the right hand side of the body. On the exhale, dropping the hands. Inhale once more, sweep the arms up above the head and then let them drop. On the next breath, we're going to take a clasp with the hands behind the back as we did before. We're going to fold forward, allowing the arms to drop down as much as is possible towards the mat. On the inhale, we're going to come up to a halfway lift, bring the spine to neutral. On the exhale, folding forward. Releasing the hands and planting them at the top of the mat before stepping back into our high plank pose. Pausing here, remaining strong through the core. Before on the exhale, dropping the knees, chest and chin. Enjoying an arch in the spine here. The toes are tucked, breathing. On the inhale, pushing down through the hands and coming into your sphinx pose, resting on the forearms, the gaze is high. Breathe here. Before on the exhale, pushing down through the hands, tucking the toes and coming back up into your downward facing dog. Breathing here. Going to bring the left foot towards the centre of the mat and lift the right leg once again coming into our three-legged dog. On the exhale sweeping the foot all the way through to the top of the mat this time. Sweeping the arms up above your head and coming into your high lunge pose. Breathing here. We're going to plant the back foot and come into our warrior two ensuring that the front knee is in line with the front ankle and that the heel of the front foot is in line with the arch of the back foot. The arms are outstretched here, try to sink low, bring that front knee to a right angle position. On the inhale we're going to lift the heel of the front foot and come back into our reverse warrior pose. The gaze is high, the right arm is overhead. On the exhale, dropping the front heel, sinking back down into our warrior two. The arms are outstretched, keeping strong through the legs here. On the exhale, we're going to drop 
the right forearm on top of the front leg, sweeping the left arm over ahead of us, coming into a side angle pose, feeling a stretch down the left hand side of the body. The gaze can follow the left arm. If you want to increase the stretch, you can bring the right hand all the way down to the mat or rest it on a block if you have one. Breathing here, feeling length through the body. Inhaling and on the exhale, come back up to standing, what before sinking once again into your warrior two pose. Breathing through any pain you might be feeling in the front leg, keeping the arms strong and outstretched. On the exhale, planting the hands at the top of your mat, sending that right foot back to meet left, sinking down into your wood facing dog. On the next inhale, you're going to bring both feet towards the center of the mat, closing the knees, sinking back down into our sleeping thunderbolt pose, resting the tummy on top of the knees, the arms are outstretched ahead of you. On the next breath, we're going to come through striking cobra pose, tracing a straight line with the nose all the way to the top of the mat before coming up into either Sphinx or Cobra pose. <coughs> Inhaling here, opening through the chest. Before coming back up into your downward facing dog. This time we're going to lift the left leg high, coming into our three-legged dog. On the exhale, sending the right foot all the way through to the top of the mat. The arms come up above you, sinking down into your high lunge pose. Pausing here, breathing. Before coming up, planting the back foot, checking your alignment. You want the front heel to be in line with the arch of the back foot, the front knee to be perpendicular to the mat and the arms to be outstretched. The gaze can be over the front fingers. On the inhale we're going to lift the front heel, flip the palm of the front hand and come into our reverse warrior pose. The left arm swept over the head, the gaze can be high. Pausing here. Inhale before on the exhale, sinking all the way back down into your warrior two, keeping strong through the front thigh. We're going to plant the left forearm on top of the front knee, the right arm sweeping over the head out in front of you. The gaze can follow that front hand. If you want to increase the stretch, the left hand can come all the way down to the mat or rest on a block if you have one. Pause here, feeling a stretch down the right hand side of the body. On the inhale, come back up, sinking down for a final time into your warrior two. Breathing, trying to remain strong through that front leg. Before on the exhale, planting the hands, stepping the left foot back and coming down into your downward facing dog, sending the heels down towards the mat. Before once again, bring the knees and feet together and sinking down into your sleeping thunderbolt pose. The arms are outstretched ahead of you, breathing here. On the inhale, Pushing down through the hands, coming up into your tabletop position, moving the left hand towards the centre of the mat. We're going to rise the right arm up above you, the gaze follows. Before on the exhale, threading the needle, letting the right shoulder come down to the mat. The left hand can come high and then come behind you, taking a hold on the right inner thigh. 
Rest here, noticing the spinal twist and noticing the stretch for the shoulders. Before on the exhale, returning the left hand to the mat, sweeping the right arm through and up above you, the gaze follows, opening through the chest here as much as possible. Before on the exhale, returning the right hand to the mat, bringing that right hand towards the centre of the mat this time and lifting the left hand high up above you, reaching, the gaze can follow. Before on the exhale, threading the needle with that left arm, coming underneath you, letting the left shoulder rest, the right arm can come high and then can come behind you finding a hold on the left inner thigh this time. Breathing here, trying to keep open through the chest. Before on the exhale, replanting the right hand, sweeping the left arm up and through, reaching high, the gaze can follow. Before on the exhale, returning both hands to the mat, coming back into your tabletop position. Taking a big step forward with the hands here and sinking the upper body down into puppy pose, keeping the tailbone shooting high, directly above the knees. Inhale, on the exhale, the head and upper body comes through and up into your cobra pose. Take a moment here to look over to your left hand side, the gaze can follow down to the feet Inhale, come back to centre. On the exhale, looking round to the right hand side this time. Gentle spinal twist, looking down to the feet. Before coming back to a central position, pushing down through the hands, tucking the toes and coming once again into your downward facing dog, allowing the chest to sink down as much as possible. On the inhale, walk the feet to the top of the mat coming down into your forward fold, taking a hold wherever is comfortable on the feet or the hands or somewhere on the legs. Breathing here before bending the knees, sinking back into your chair pose, sending the arms high and trying to open through the chest. Breathing here, keeping strong through the legs. The gaze is high before allowing the hands to join in a prayer position and coming into a spinal twist, locking the right upper arm behind the left knee, inhaling, come back to centre, send the hands high. On the exhale, twist round to the right hand side this time, allowing the left arm to tuck behind the right knee. Breathing here. On the inhale, come back to neutral. Send the hands high once again. On the exhale, fold down, straighten the legs and come once again into your forward fold. Trying to bring the nose as close to the knees as possible. Sinking down here. Before on the inhale, unraveling and coming up to a standing position. Planting the feet hip distance apart, under the hips. We're going to do a couple of shoulder rolls. Taking a hold of the shoulders with the hands, taking three big rolls forward. And then three big shoulder rolls back, opening through the chest, sending the shoulder blades down the back. On the inhale, sweep the arms up above the head and take a couple of full shoulder rolls with the arms outstretched. We're going to slowly decrease the size of the circles. before finally lifting both arms up above the head, following them with the gaze and bringing the hands down 
into cactus arms. On the inhale, sending the hands high. On the exhale, bringing them down. The shoulders are back. Notice how the shoulder blades move up and down the body with this pose. Inhale, send the hands high. On the exhale, take a clasp with the hands and bring them down in front of you. Feeling a lovely stretch across the upper back. On the inhale, send the hands high. On the exhale, we're going to bend the right arm and send the left hand to meet right behind the back if you can reach here. You can take a rope if that's easier. Keeping the feet together and the hands as they are, we're going to come into a forward fold, trying to keep the back flat. The gaze is down to the mat. On the inhale, come back up. Gaze is high. Release the arms. We're going to switch round to the opposite side again trying to allow the two hands to meet behind you. Inhale here, the gaze is high. On the exhale, folding down to a flat back. Breathing here, the gaze is down to the mat. Before on the inhale, coming up once again high, arching the back here, the gaze is high. Before releasing the hands, sweeping them up above the head on the inhale on the exhale swan diving down through a flat back before curving down into your forward fold once again breathing here in your forward fold trying to bring that nose as close to the knees as possible on the inhale halfway lift the gaze is high try to flatten the back here on the exhale plant the hands step the feet back come into your high plank on the exhale, lower down all the way to the mat. Coming up into your cobra pose, the hands are planted. Before on the exhale, allowing the upper body to rest on the mat, we're going to bend both knees and taking a hold of the feet with the hands, we're going to come up into a preparation pose for bow pose, pulling on the feet with the hands and pulling away with the feet. On the exhale, let go, come back down to the mat. On the inhale, push up into Sphinx or Cobra Pose. On the exhale, push down through the hands, tuck the toes. Send the weight back into your downward facing dog, tucking the chin, sending the tailbone high. Breathing here. On the inhale, the gaze is forward. We're going to step the feet to the top of the mat, sinking down into our forward fold. Before the inhale, unraveling and coming up to the top of the mat, shaking out the hands, relaxing here, preparing for our balancing poses. Start to ground through the feet, trying to become still. The hands can be on the hips here. We're going to ground through the left foot and lift the right, bringing that right knee into a right angle position. And starting to tune into our balance, trying to find a singular point on which to focus to help keep you steady and stable. Breathing deeply here into the posture. If you want to, you can take a hold of the right knee with both hands, pulling the knee in towards you while keeping the shoulders back and the chest open. Before moving into tree pose, we're going to find somewhere comfortable on the left leg for the right foot to rest. Now this can be all the way down to the mat. Um, at the ankle, can be below or above the knee, all the way up into the groin. Again, focus on your balance here. 
don't worry about where that right foot is, just find somewhere that's comfortable. Try to focus on sending the right knee out to the right hand side, keeping your gaze focused on that point. Allow your brain to be empty, not distracted. Just noticing how the body feels. Allowing the weight to be grounded down into that left heel. Before releasing the foot and hugging the knee up into the chest once again. On the exhale, letting go of the right knee, bringing it back into that right angle position. Keeping the foot flexed. Just pause here, keeping it lifted. We're going to come into another balance. Take a deep inhale. Before on the exhale, we're going to send that right leg back and through behind the body, keeping the foot flexed before lifting the arms and simultaneously bringing the trunk of the upper body down whilst lifting the right leg, trying to bring the whole body in line, finding a new point of balance here if necessary. Inhale and on the exhale if you can you can bring the hands down to the mat and start to lift that right leg as much as possible, working your way towards a standing split. You can bend the left knee if it helps. Before on the exhale, carefully working your way back up to standing, trying to keep the right foot lifted. Bring the right knee back to a right angle. Before on the inhale, straightening the right leg, trying to bring it as high as possible without straining. Breathing here on the inhale, try and lift a little bit higher. On the exhale, letting the right foot come down to the mat. Stepping from side to side, relaxing here before we move on to the left hand side. The hands can be back on the hips here. This time we're going to ground down through the right foot, lifting the left leg, bringing the knee into a right angle position. Pausing here, bringing our focus to that singular point ahead of us. If you want to take a hold of the left knee, you can have a clasp here with the hands, hugging the knee into the chest while keeping the shoulders back and the chest open. When you feel ready, we're going to move into tree pose, finding a comfortable place on the right leg for that left foot to rest. Focusing entirely on your balance here. Keeping still through the body, soft through the face, making sure you're not tensing up at all. Allowing that left knee to come round to the left hand side. Breathing, make sure you're not holding any tension in the jaw. Using the breath to ground yourself down through the right foot. Make sure your posture is upright here, the shoulders are back and down. Breathing. Take one more deep inhale here. Before on the exhale, releasing the left foot, hugging the knee once again, up into the chest. Before on the exhale, letting go of the left foot, We're going to keep it lifted. Before sending the left leg all the way through behind us, keeping the knee bent, lifting the arms up above us on the inhale, we're going to simultaneously bring the upper body down, sending the left leg high, coming into a balancing posture, trying to keep the upper body and the leg in line, finding a point of balance here, 
breathing deeply in and out through the nose before on the exhale dropping the hands and sending that left leg high coming into the kasana pose momentarily on the exhale let the back behind leg start to drop carefully rise back up to standing trying to keep the left foot lifted once again bring that left knee out in front of you before on the inhale straightening the left leg trying to bring it high Take a last inhale, try and lift the leg a little higher if you can, without straining, before on the exhale, letting it drop down to the mat. Relaxing here, stepping from side to side. On the inhale, sweep the arms up above the head. On the exhale, just let them sweep down and drop, exhaling through the mouth. On the inhale, sweep the arms up above the head, the gaze is high. On the exhale, letting the arms drop, exhaling through the mouth. On the inhale, sweep the arms up above you. On the exhale, letting them drop down, exhaling through the mouth. Take one more inhale, sweeping the arms up above you. On the exhale, let them drop, exhale loudly through the mouth, sighing out. To bring the feet wide, the toes slightly wider than the heels, sweep the arms up above you, letting the hands join, coming into a prayer position. Coming down to the heart center before lowering very slowly through a squat all the way down to the mat coming into your yogi squat once here you can use the forearms to push open the knees a little you can sway from side to side here noticing the opening through the hip flexors gently bring movement into the hips pausing here before dropping down to a seated position on the mat. The knees bent, the legs out in front of you. Hug the knees into the chest momentarily before very slowly lowering the upper body, keeping strong through the core, coming all the way down into a reclined pose on the mat. Pausing here allowing the hands to come down either side of the body. On the inhale, we're going to lift the right leg before planting the right foot on top of the left knee and threading the hands through the legs to take a hold of the left thigh, pulling the leg in towards you, feeling a stretch in the right glute. Breathing here, if you want to increase the stretch, you can try and reach through taking a hold of the left calf once again letting the head rest and pulling through with the hands increasing the stretch in the legs breathe here on the inhale send the left leg high and straight and take a hold of the left leg at the calf very gently pulling the left leg towards you for an even more increased stretch in the right glute before on the exhale letting the left leg straighten and come all the way down to the mat hugging the right knee into the chest inhale here before on the exhale guiding the right knee over to the left hand side the arms are outstretched the gaze is over to the right hand side coming into a gentle spinal twist here breathing Letting that right knee drop all the way down to the mat, trying to keep the right shoulder grounded. Before on the inhale, bring the right knee back up to centre, lifting both knees, hugging them into the chest, lifting the chin here. Before on the exhale, taking the right leg high and planting the left foot on top of the right thigh this time reaching through and taking a hold of the of the right quad pulling gently feeling a stretch in the left glute this time allowing the head to rest if you want to increase the stretch you can reach all the way through to the right calf pausing here pulling down gently through the right leg 
take one more deep inhale here before releasing the right leg straightening it up above you and taking a hold of the right calf again very gently pulling in that leg towards the upper body increasing the stretch in the left glute on the exhale release the foot straighten both legs and gently pull them down into your chest keeping the feet flexed inhale here on the exhale let the right leg drop we're going to guide the left knee over to the right hand side this time outstretching the arms allow the gaze to fall over to the left hand side this time keeping the right shoulder grounded enjoying a gentle spinal twist here breathing down into the abdomen take a last inhale here on the exhale bringing that left knee back up to neutral hugging it into the chest once again before on the exhale allowing the right knee to join left hugging them momentarily into the chest before lifting through the upper body straightening the legs if you can we're going to come up into Navasana boat pose keeping the upper body open through the chest the arms are strong and outstretched the legs can be bent or if you can straight them out in front of you lower the legs and upper body until you really feel the work through the core hold here on the exhale drop down allow the feet to drop to the mat breathe before on the inhale we come up again into Navasana knees bent or outstretched trying to keep the chest open and trying not to strain with the upper body or through the face keeping everything relaxed but making sure you're working through that core on the exhale come down once again going to move for a final time into Navasana on the inhale lifting the upper body straightening the legs outstretching the arms balancing here for a couple more breaths keeping softness through the face the toes can be pointed inhale here before on the exhale lowering down planting the feet and letting the head rest on the mat you can bring the palms of the feet together and let the knees fall wide coming into a reclined bound angle pose stretch the arms up above the head and let them rest there the elbows can be bent pausing for a couple of breaths just allowing the knees to naturally fall down to the mat resting here One more deep breath here. Before on the exhale, bringing the knees together, planting the feet. We're going to come into bridge pose. Start to edge the feet in as close as possible to the upper body. The arms are outstretched either side of you. On the inhale, we're going to lift through the pelvis, sending the knees over the feet. You can externally rotate the shoulders and take a clasp of the hands underneath the body. On each inhale, try and lift the pelvis and the belly button a little higher, increasing the arch through the spine. Breathing deeply here. Inhale. Before on the exhale, releasing the hands. Dropping the pelvis, resting here, lifting the knees and hugging them into the chest. 
rolling gently from side to side here. Before in the exhale, bringing the feet back down to the mat, again keeping them close to the upper body. Take a deep inhale, lift through the pelvis, externally rotate the shoulders and take a clasp with the hands. Again, work on sending that navel as high, high as possible, reaching up towards the sky, increasing the arch through the spine here, keeping strong through the legs. Breathing deeply all the way down into the abdomen. Take a last inhale, before on the exhale, lowering down, once again taking a hold of the knees, hugging them into the chest, lifting the chin, pausing here, again you can rock gently from side to side if you want to. On the exhale, drop the feet close to the body, going to come into bridge pose for the final time, hands are either side of the body hands planted. On the inhale, lift through the pelvis, taking a clasp with the hands, externally rotating the shoulders. If you want to increase this, you can come up onto your tiptoes and walk the feet in towards the body, allowing you to come higher through the hips, increasing the arch in the spine. Inhale here, breathing deeply. Trying to keep the face soft before on the exhale, releasing the hands, lowering down. And once again, hugging the knees into the chest, lifting the chin. Breathing here, we can rock gently from side to side. Before on the exhale, coming all the way down into your Shavasana pose. The feet are wide the heels planted, the toes can fall down from side to side, the arms are outstretched, the palms facing upwards. Take the time here to survey your whole body. On the next deep inhale, bring your attention to your forehead. Imagining there's a warm light. Let any tension dissolve away. Allow that focus and light to travel across the face, down into your jaw, separating your teeth, releasing the tongue from the top of your mouth allowing the jaw to be completely relaxed. On the next inhale, allow your focus to move down to your neck and to the top of your shoulders. Let the shoulders relax, coming away from the ears, as if melting down into the mat. Allow your focus to travel now into the abdomen, becoming aware of the small rise and fall movements with each breath. On the next breath, allow this light to travel down into your legs, firstly your thighs, down through the knees, into the calves and down into the feet, letting your toes slowly fall out to each side, your focus travelling from each toe, one at a time, and then resting at the arches of your feet, now that your focus has travelled down the whole body, let it surround you, holding your whole body in your awareness. On your next inhale, start to bring your awareness back to the body. When you're ready, you can bring your left arm 
up above you, stretching and reaching before rolling over onto your left hand side, coming into the fetal position. You can make a cushion with the hands underneath the face here. Allow your body to be completely supported by the mat. Breathing deeply here before when you're ready, pushing down through the hands into the mat and coming all the way up into any comfortable seated position. If you want to, you can sit on a block or a cushion. If you're not comfortable crossing your legs, they can be outstretched in front of you. Allow the hands to rest on the knees and take a couple of deep, full breaths in and out through the nose. We're going to come into an alternate nostril breathing pranayama practice to finish. So bring the right hand up above the face, allowing the index and middle finger to rest in between your eyebrows. The right thumb and ring finger are going to hover over the right nostril and the left nostril. Take a deep inhalation through both nostrils. Exhale before closing the right nostril and taking a deep inhalation through the left nostril. Pausing at the top, you can close both nostrils momentarily before opening the right nostril, closing the left and exhaling. Again, you can pause at the end of your breath here before inhaling again through the right nostril. Pausing at the top, closing both nostrils for a moment before opening the left nostril and exhaling fully. At the end of your breath, close both nostrils before again opening the left nostril and inhaling. Pausing at the end of the inhale before opening the right nostril and exhaling fully. If you want to continue doing this, following the pace of your own breath, we're going to remain here for just a couple of moments. If you can, you can try to make the exhale a little longer than the inhale without forcing the breath, just becoming very aware of the breath. Got a couple more rounds here. Try to keep going. Before taking a final inhale, releasing the hand, returning the right hand to the right knee and taking three really deep, full breaths through both nostrils, all the way down into the abdomen, noticing the rise and fall, and noticing how it feels to breathe fully with both nostrils open. On the inhale, sweep the arms up above the head, allow the palms of the hands to join in a prayer position. Before on the exhale, bring the hands down to the heart centre and bowing forward, allowing the head to drop. Namaste.